Hello everyone. Uh, so in the previous part of the lecture, we were discussing about the connection between the vector representations in uh, two different coordinate axes. What we are going to do in this part of the lecture is to establish a similar sort of uh, connection between a tensor of order 2. Now, before we can do that, let us quickly recap what we had done for the tensor of order 1, that is a vector in the previous part. So, if we go back to the previous page, we see that this relation Vj dash is equal to Qjk Pk is uh, where we had this connection and you see that uh, the way it was structured, the index notation it came out was that this index j, it was present in the first index on the right hand side here. Okay, so in general, if we write like a vi dash, it should come out as qi uh, p vp. So, where I have deliberately used a different uh, letter for this index, I use p instead of j just to emphasize that this is indeed a dummy index. Now, if we have to uh, obtain a similar sort of relation for a second order tensor, then does it mean that we have to again go through the laborious process that we had done in the previous part of the lecture? The answer is no. What we can do instead is to think of a second order tensor like this, so this tij dash where the dash represents that the representation is taking place with respect to the x1 dash, x2 dash and x3 dash axis that, that reference system. Uh, uh, we can think of this uh, to be made up of the dyadic product between two vectors. So ai bj, so ai dash bj dash. So these are individually two vectors, the dyadic product between them that results in this tij dash. So this, this, is, this is something which you have already seen earlier that the dyadic product of two vectors gives rise to a tensor. Okay. Now, uh, the moment we have this kind of a decomposition, what we can do is we can immediately utilize this relation which we have already obtained earlier to write these individual vectors in terms of their, uh, in terms of their vector representations in the x1, x2, x3 axis. So this one will be qi, uh, let's put a P here. So this will be a P and for the BJ dash, uh, uh, let us use another letter uh, for the second index. So this is Q J Q B Q. All right. So let us take the Qs to one side, Qip, Qjq and the Ap and the Bq, they are together. Now this particular combination Ap, Bq, that will be nothing but the second order tensor itself in the x1, x2, x3, uh, x3 coordinate axis. So this will be just T, P, Q. So you see, through these very simple steps, we have basically obtained the connection that we desired. So this is the, ve the, the, the representation of the second order tensor in the x1, x and the x1 dash, x2 dash, x3 dash uh, coordinate axis. And here is the uh, second order tensor representation in the x1, x2, x3 axis. And the connection is to this, to this uh, q1, qip and the qjq. Uh, and please note the difference with the, with the connection in the case of the vector representation. So here we had the presence of only one Q term and here we have the presence of two Q terms. Okay. Now uh, you see how this has shaped up. We have the presence of this I index and the J index on the left hand side. These I's, uh, this I and this J are present separately here in the first index of the Q, here Q I P and here qjq, so i comes in the first index here, j comes in the first index here and the, the second indices here, the p and the q, they are how the connection is made with the 
with the, with the second order tensor in the other coordinate axis. Now, in a similar fashion, we can quickly write down that suppose we have a third order tensor. Okay, so suppose we have something like this aijk dash. Without writing any more thing, we can quickly write it down as uh, qip uh, q j q q uh, k r a p q r where this a p q r is the third order is the representation of the third order tensor in the x1 x2 x3 axis and these are the connections that we have okay so uh, this is a very very useful thing to have and you can we can actually continue doing this thing uh, for fourth order tensors and higher order tensors uh, and this is something uh, which we should keep in mind because it will be useful to solve some problems uh, in the subsequent chapters also all right so with this we have uh, more or less covered uh, what we needed in the mathematical preliminaries so as and when required uh, we will need to refer to these contents uh, and there will be lot of lots of such occasions uh, and in the next chapter we'll, uh, we'll begin our studies uh, of uh, the next chapter will be on kinematics and the and the subsequent chapter will be on stress uh, and in both these chapters you will see that there will be heavy use of these these mathematical preliminary concepts all right uh, thank you very much